Welcome to Tube Vision. Today we're going to go over the many girlfriends of Andy Taylor, or AKA is really known, Andy Griffin. In season one, Ellie Walker came to Mayberry in, in the fourth episode, Ellie Comes to Town. She was a graduate of Bernard University and a pharmacist. Andy invited her to a church picnic in the next episode in Irresistible Andy. She later ran for city council in episode 10 and finally became Andy Steady in Serial Andy. By the 22nd episode, Andy was taken over by the Green-Eyed Monster with jealousy in episode 24, The New Doctor. She exited after her last episode, the 27th episode, with Ellie Saves a Female. She left after the first season because she didn't feel she and Andy had a very good chemistry on the screen as Andy didn't show enough affection. Eleanor Donahue, played by Betty Princess Anderson, the oldest daughter in Father Knows Best. She was actually the true daughter of Robert Young and Jane Wyatt, the lead actor and actress in the series. She was in 12 episodes. Minnie Mary Simpson is a Mayberry County nurse who appears in two episodes of The Andy Griffith Show. In her first appearance, she is played by actress Julie Adams. As she and the sheriff, Andy Taylor, try to talk Rafe Hallister into taking his tetanus shot. Sue Ann Langdon plays Nurse Mary in the second appearance as she and Andy try to go on a date without the interference of Barney Fife. Andy and the Woman's Feaster is the third episode of the second season of The Andy Griffith Show, which aired on October 16, 1961. In the episode, an attractive woman from out of town receives a speeding ticket from Andy and uses flattery and bribe to sway the witnesses, Barney, Floyd, and Opie, before her court day, along with the mayor. The episode stars Andy Griffith, Gene Hagen, and Don Knotts. The Perfect Female is the eighth episode of season two of The Andy Griffith Show that aired on November 27, 1961. In the episode, Dalma Lou and Barney set up Andy with Karen, Dalma Lou's cousin, and Andy tries to impress her with his shooting skills. The two compete in a shooting contest, and Karen wins. The episode stars Andy Griffith, Don Knotts, Betty Lynn, and Gail Davis. The Manicurist is the 16th episode of season 2 of The Andy Griffith Show, and it aired on January 22nd, 1962. In this episode, Ellen Brown, played by a very attractive Barbara Eden, arrives in Mayberry to set up as a manicurist in Floyd's Barbershop. And the men of Mayberry eventually accept her, as they were very shocked that Floyd had a woman set up in his barbershop. And were very nervous by this. Very funny episode. The episode also stars Howard McNear as Floyd Lawson and Dick Elliott, as Mayor Pike. In season three, Andy's rich girlfriend, Peggy McMillan, played by Joanna Moore, showed up in episode two. Andy Barney, Thelma Lou, and Peggy double dated and went out to Myers Lake and had a great time. Then, after he discovered the county nurses from a wealthy family, he is unsure that they are well matched after she took him out to dinner and tried to introduce him to S. Cargo. Sharon to Spain appears in episode 19 of season 3 of The Andy Griffith Show, titled Class Reunion. In this episode, Andy and Barney look forward to seeing their high school sweethearts at the Mayberry Class of 45 reunion. Peggy McKay plays Sharon to Spain in the episode, to which, seated out in the courtyard, Andy discovers that she has different values than what he does. He's a small town guy, knows where he's at, and Peggy just wants the big city. She wants the hustle and bustle of life. So after realizing this, they talk in part separate ways in friendship. Ellen Crump, played by Anita Corsett, was in 66 episodes of The Andy Griffith Show. She made her debut appearance in episode 23, Andy Discovers America. She was not too pleased with Andy's influence on Opie and other boys, 
but he got her pupils interested in history immediately. Season 4, Episode 18, Andy and Barney fall for the charms of a female prisoner who threatens to crumble the security of the Mayberry Jail. After Andy is profiled in a National Sheriff's Magazine, she, he is interviewed by Pat Blake, a sheriff without a gun. A television production team comes to town to research a possible TV show about Mayberry's Sheriff's Department. Andy suspects something is up when they all spend a lot of time checking out the bank. In Season 6, Episode 9, Darlene Mason reappeared in The Hollywood Party. Ruta Lee played the reporter in Andy on the Trail as Jean Boswell in Season 2. The Gypsies is the 23rd episode of Season 6 of The Andy Griffith Show, which aired on February 21, 1966. In the episode... A group of gypsies come to Mayberry and sell their junk, putting a curse on a town that prevents rain until they are allowed back. The gypsies are armed with both old, world hocus-pocus and modern science. Andy tries to run them off, but the, they curse the town, saying it will not rain until they are allowed back. Andy is happy to hear that his old girlfriend, Alice Harper, is in Mayberry. It turns out that she has moved back permanently and is fixing up her old family home. Alice and Andy were quite an item at one point, and she is very attractive. Aunt B insists that she move in with them while her house is being fixed. Problems arise when Helen meets Alice and becomes jealous. Andy arranges for them to go out with Howard, completing the foursome. Alice suggests that they spend the weekend at her family cabin, but when Howard and Helen wake up in the middle of the night, they find that both Andy and Alice are missing. In Season 8, Episode 4, Andy's Trip to Raleigh, he meets attorney Lee Drake, Whitney Blake, after his car is in an accident with a bulldozer. She and Andy work together at her pool. Later, she comes to Mayberry to finish the case and meets a jealous Helen after Andy describes the attorney he met in Raleigh as 40-ish, heavy, set, and grim. In real life, Andy Griffith was the only child and married Barbara Bray Edwards in 1949. They divorced in 1972. She died in 1980 at the age of 52, and they adopted two children together. She married Michael St. Clair in 1975. Griffith was having an affair with Anita Croissant, Helen Crump, during the show. Griffith married actress Solis Croissant in 1975. They divorced in 1981. Griffin appeared in 181 episodes of Madlock that ran from 1986 to 1995 and was in return to Mayberry in 2003. He won an Emmy for his performance as Ash Robinson in Murder in Texas in 1981. Ironically, he never won an Emmy for his performance in The Andy Griffith Show or Madlock, although both shows were amongst the most popular in America because of his friendly personality. He was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2005. Griffin married actress Cindy Knight in 1983. They were together when he passed away in 2012. He was diagnosed with gillian Barn Syndrome just two months after their wedding in 1983. I do have to say that The Andy Griffith Show is probably one of my favorite shows, along with the Gomer Pyle show that took off from The Andy Griffith Show. Um, I have been to Mount, Mount Airy, North Carolina, as I am from North Carolina, the Raleigh area, and it was a great time. I got to meet Thelma Lou, who has now passed since that time. But she was a great person. The Andy Griffith Museum there is a great place to go. They have a lot of nostalgia from the show. They have a lot of nostalgia from Betty Lynn. as She was a movie actress, quite a movie actress, before the Andy Griffith show. Um, if you walk downtown in old Mount Airy, it's actually Mayberry. They have Opie's Candy Shop. They have Floyd's Barber Shop. They have uh, Emmett's Fix-It Shop. They have everything that's in the Andy Griffith show. And they have a great parade. I believe it's in the third week of September. 
not mistaken, look it up in Mount Airy, Mount Airy Parade, Mayberry Days. Great time to go see this. It is a fantastic show that will have memories in my heart forever, and I'm sure yours as well. Thank you very much for viewing this, and have a great day. And please like and subscribe.